Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> this is one of the tracks that, well, one of the artists that we're you know familiar with, Atif uh, Aslam. I think that's probably. We checked it out once before. Yes. Um, his his performance actually blew our minds in so many different ways, and I think you get it's on the channel somewhere. I'm sure if you type it up, it will come up. Um, but yeah, it's a. I'm really looking forward to this because this particular one has an arrangement with a an orchestra, Whoa. and it's very vocal forward, going from what you guys suggested and said. So let's have a look. Let's, I'm so let's intrigued. Have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Like. Given its geography and also mm. like musical influence, I don't know what to expect. Nice pizzicato. Cook studio sessions. <clears throat> That's gorgeous. Oh, God. That bass. <laughs> I love his voice, bloody I hell. I adore <laughs> the fact that you can see the... Uh, I think that's Arabic, perhaps? Yeah, but like the the Romanized... Version. Like... Uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation of it as well, because, you know, it always, it always highlights how much in the language, in the diction there is. When you see it written down phonetically, you can also like... Soaking in the beautiful layers of the language itself. Well, and obviously props to Coke Studios for I providing mean, subtitles because indeed. I'm sure that they're very popular worldwide, you know? Yeah, these videos go viral so much. Right. They're so popular. Let's have a look. Chanang means darling. I write your name in my arm, on my arm. Oh my god, yes! Did not expect that switch. drama <clears throat> pause apologies Ooh. go back just to the image uh, what the hell is that instrument first I time in my life no idea it looks like a harp but it's definitely not a harp yes what is this if anyone can kindly let us know I, i'm probably gonna say that often today as i always say when we're discovering things that are completely it's brand gorgeous. new but God, I, what a merge of mm. sounds. It, it really does remind me of that era of progressive rock, like Sting, U2, type of like progressive rock that had a lot of uh, um, Asian-like sounds in their music. Uh, you know that, that there, was an, there was a period, a like moment. late 90s, early 2000s, when, where progressive rock included a lot of worldwide music well, into their mu into their composition. It was starting to become monotonous. Yes, right. And oversaturated in the industry. So yeah, it, you it, two sting and then a bunch of other people started to like amplify look. it. Yeah. For new sounds, African drumming, uh, uh, instruments from uh, from uh, Asia, well, I think, different uh, sounds and melismas. Certainly, you know, there, there was a fascination, you know, towards like, you know, giving the Beatles, like towards, you know, Indian music industry. And then that That's was right. like, it woke up the, the, this like idea for people. It's like, hold on a second. That's India. What about another country? You know, what about Pakistan? What about, uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's the same now with like, um, um, 
the the huge success that sort of South Korea has had. Also, reggaeton, like in, the Latin American America. music, uh, taking over worldwide. More people are being attracted to salsa. That's and, right. And, and merengue and, and like, Latin the? rhythms and influences into other styles that don't naturally correlate to one another. This this is what I love about what the internet and the globalization of music has really brought into the table. Yeah. Fusions and moments like this, where you really see two worlds collide and so many different influences in one single track, only one minute and 50 of, of, of content. And you're, you're already it's being able to pick out different uh, inflections and different influences and driven and and shot in a completely different environment. It's so refreshing to watch. It's truly inspiring. It's high class music. It is incredibly tight. Go on. Yeah. And that drama is entire. Oh, hell, yes, dude. yes. The rhythmicality here is immaculate. <laughs> so that's like the music I listen to off camera, like. <laughs> Yeah, so I think in the, the double vowels here are elongated, elongated sounds. Yeah. So, so similar then in the music, Indian music industry that we've been discovering in this last couple of weeks. I don't weeks. know if it, there's a correlation, but in this case specifically, right. double, double vowels are just an elongated sound of the vowel. Would I be incorrect to make such a guess? Kind of let us know because... It, well, just going off of yeah, what yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah, because I was asking that literally in a few videos yeah, ago. Yeah, like, I know, I know. How do I pronounce the double vowels? And now in this case, and that also may, may be a hint towards, it seems it's very prevalent here too in Pakistan, songs and singers elongate. Oh, yeah. Naturally, but it's naturally then given the language. But it's because of the language, that's right. Influences. Yeah. Ah, intriguing, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Dude, oh I think that, that's one of the best live performances I've seen all year that I've never seen before. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, one can only hope I want to, learn to that make piece. music to that level. One can only dream of making music of that level. And it only comes with settling in your own style. It only comes with experimenting. It only comes with allowing yourself to grow um, as a composer, you know, to really adjust your ideas to not be bound by any genre. You know, I think it only comes from from truly understanding freedom in creation. Because then, therefore, you can really solidify a, an idea, a concept, and make it into something really special. Well, a lot of the time, right, that, that's, wow. perha that's perhaps one of the mistakes that I, I guess as, as listeners uh, can be made, right? Where we kind of box artists yeah. in, a, in a genre, right? But that's a certain extent that may actually hinder the artist himself because, or, or, or herself because in order to fully be creative, it's certain, it, that, like the word itself suggests lack of boundaries. Indeed. Freedom. And, and that's truly <laughs> such a merge of things. Yeah. Um, and different sounds. It's very interesting because um, I, I was literally, you know, I like to drum a lot and uh, I, I was just listening to funk. Mm -hmm. You know, and I like, I love to drum to funk and also gospel like music and kind of, well, not, maybe not rhythm and blues as much, but gospel and funk um, and seeing these influences in there, but also being done radically different. Yeah, indeed. Um, it's so refreshing. Having the metal section, you know. It, it's, it's so big band jazz. Oh, mate, but, it's fucking insane. Yeah, but then again, the, the inclusion of certain arrangements, like the instrument that we don't know the name to. Apologies, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. I mean, ignorance is a, is a, is a big thing today <laughs> but um well i don't think it, it obviously is ignorance i would say but at the, at the certain extent you have to go through that in, absolutely to discover learn yeah create curiosity but i apologize um but yeah the the, the harp like instrument with the uh, arrangements of the keyboard that are so detailed forward and if you don't pay attention enough you kind of miss them because there is so much happening but if they weren't there then those elements would be completely missed in in a way that it would feel empty and it lose identity right in in this specific uh piece you also have the vocals uh from atif and 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 the backing vocalist yeah, the two that, ladies oh my god work. their work is stunning the 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 use of you know very little uh uh harmonics overall but huge emphasis on the breathiness and the velvetiness the depth the ladies provided is absolutely elite but you know the the eth ethnicity that comes from the main singer really drives through a completely different flavor to what the musical composition is and if it's separated and done in a completely different way the same song uh his ethnicity the, the 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 ethnicity in the in the voice in the in the uh, in the colors of his way of singing, I see. Um, they're very yeah they feel very ethnic you know like, is that wrong to say? I don't know I just yeah I'm trying to comprehend that's a that's a it, for, I don't that's know a peculiar way of utilizing that word which I think is in the right sense as well. It's certainly original from Pakistan. That's which right. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it feels very organic. Yeah, I think. Well, I would. I mean, I would imagine. I don't know. That's why I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I would imagine that perhaps this type of voices. I think he's one of the most popular singers yeah. in Pakistan, from what you guys have told us. As a matter of fact, I think he's one of the most popular singers, just like in Asia, just overall. Oh, yeah. He's like insanely famous. Um, so yeah, I, I get. I just never heard. The, the word ethnicity utilized in a musical sense like oh well yeah, yeah. I, that's the only way I could really like uh, uh, yeah, to grab, write, yeah. to grab the, the concept itself of what I'm trying to say because it's about the color and the depth and the which you think is truly uniquely to Pakistan exactly right. which I don't I don't think I could find anywhere else um, I'd love to discover more, and I think absolutely. then your, pro, your your point would definitely be proven correct. I well, think. we're only beginning. This is only the beginning, the opener, the starter of a great meal. I think this is <laughs> <Yeah>. absolutely <laughs> insane. If if this is where we're headed, Jesus, you yeah, know, very, wow. Very interesting then as well, like they sort of, yeah, merge of, of a, I guess, 
yeah, to an extent, you know, pinnacle world like sounds, you know, mm. like the jazz influences and a tiny bit of blues the very and... western four by uh, yeah. four by four with me Calidy very intrigued um, it is nice though it's like great cocktail of elements I do want to ask is this common to utilize or because perhaps I feel like even this may be an anomaly of this quality um, to sort of mix in uh, sort of orchestra like sounds yeah and, uh, such a symphonic arrangement to to a song like this yeah intrigued I do want to say as well like if you saw us speaking outside that we're talking to mother and father but they're now gone. They've gone to the chicken shop. <laughs> They've gone to eat and abandon us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anyways, go on.